Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking all about partial hair systems. Partial hair systems are a subdivision of hair systems and it's an important topic because while some of us know about them, uh, those that are newer to the community, probably not so much. You know, at first you just think that there's these wigs or toupees or something like that and then you find out the technology behind hair systems and then there's partial hair systems which are an either even further subdivision of hair systems. Now this video is sponsored by Lord Hair guys. They're doing a Father's Day sale up to the 21st of June right now, $50 off of really every single hair system that they have in stock, which is pretty awesome. So make sure you go take advantage of that with the link down below. Now, these are essentially what partial hair systems actually look like. What they are is what it sounds like. They're essentially just portions of a full hair system or, you know, toupee, right? So the, what, what most people use this for is to cover just a portion of their baldness. If they're not fully bald on top or something like that, that these can be used as an effective method to just kind of as a, like a go between, right? Like if you're dealing with hair loss, that's temporary, or you're dealing with hair loss, that's just stopped and you have some recession up front, these can be great options for you. So we're going to be talking a little bit about it, use cases, pros, cons, all that kind of fun stuff. All right. So the good, let's talk about partial hair systems, right? Now, one of the great things about partial hair systems is that you have less hair system on your head and there's nothing wrong with wearing a hair system, uh, totally manageable. I'm managing one right now. There's hundreds and thousands, 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 probably tens of thousands of people out there that are using these systems are not bad. Uh, but I believe that less is more, you know, if for example, just because I need a hair system doesn't mean that I should wear a full wig. And I think that it would be harder um, or just, you know, like less desirable for me. Like I kind of want it to integrate with my own hair as much as possible. Um, so a partial hair system is really good for those that, you know, less is more kind of idea. You know, they might be people that have less hair loss than I have. So this can be a great option to have as little not natural hair or like as little hair system on your head as possible. Now, a lot of people use this for the front hairline. So, you know, we can take a look at this guy right here inside of a Lord hair video. He's actually using um, a partial right here. This, this is actually not his hair right here. So, you know, we see right here, this is what he naturally looks. So we see that it gives him a couple extra, like an inch, an inch and a half of extra hair because his hairline is receding, but he has tons of density further back. So this right here is a great option for him to just have to deal with less. Now, if you're not like that, you know, if you are like me and you have like hair loss all over the top of your scalp, um, you know, this is a little bit different situation and we'll talk about why in a second, but you know, my hair wasn't like this guys right here where I've got a ton and it's just chunky, thick hairline after a certain point. You know, so if your hair is like this or you have, you know, some thinning in your crown and you want to resolve it that way, that's another option that could be really, really good for you. Now, another one of the factors that can determine whether or not you should be wearing a partial hair system. And, you know, this is like one of the benefits of it is that it's ultimately cheaper than wearing a hair system or a full wig because uh, they, they just run a little bit cheaper. You know, these two right here, the Super Skin F, for example, 249 on Lord Hair site wet right now. But this is for two pieces. This is two pieces that, uh, you know, you're getting basically for an equivalent price of one hair system, you know, as you see in the prices down below. Now, what some people actually do is they'll buy a full hair system and they'll cut it into strips and you can potentially get even more than just two for kind of like an equivalent price. You might be looking more at like three to four, depending on how you cut it and, you know, your particular needs for a partial hair system. So, you know, it can be more cost effective to use a partial hair system. Now, if you're looking for someone that can guide you and tell you a lot more about partial hair systems because you know he is a partial hair system where this guy right here you know stick on hair he is the go-to guy this guy kills it he's been making content forever he's a quirky dude he's got a lot of personality but you know in every single video he's wearing a partial you see right here you know his hairline is all the way back here at least that he shaves down and then he's always applying these partials right here in this clip so that can be really really useful knowledge for you to see what you're getting into now let's talk about 
the cons or just like things that you have to look out for, all right? So one of the cons or things that you have to look out for with a partial hair system is really making sure that you get the right density. Now this is the same type of issue for those that are wearing full hair systems, but I don't wanna say even more so, but uh, if you don't have the right density hair on the top, um, you know, in your partial compared to your natural hair, for example, let's say that your thin hair has this density and then you get a, a partial that has heavier density or like noticeably heavier density, it's going to create an unnatural shape on the top of your head. If you watched any of my you know, videos where I kind of review hair systems and hair styles, one of the things that I'm like always looking at is the shape of the hair, right? Does it create like a nice silhouette, a nice aesthetic, or is it actually something that, you know, there's kind of unnatural, shapes in it because it's not a giveaway but it's just less desirable so if you watch you know stick on hair you'll see that you know he has really kind of got it nailed down and you know he, he's doing a really good job um, at making sure that his hair systems are pretty much on par you know we'll look at this video right here and you can see you know that he's got a, like a lot of the the right density going on you can see you know some of the transition here a little different but like that's just being very very picky that's not like me actually i would never know that on the side of the street um and most people wouldn't now that being said another one of the factors right when you're looking at this is comparing the density um uh, also like the wave pattern right so you know if you're really really looking at it you know you can see i'm presuming this is the line right here nobody's really going to notice that in the real world you know they're gonna have to really really be looking but you'll see that he's got slightly wavier hair than this right here not a problem i still think he looks great um i would i'm only pointing it out for the sake of education inside of this video um but that being said it's something that you're going to want to think about when you're looking at partial hair systems your wave versus the wave of the hair system that you're getting there's a lot of different wave patterns out there it's different rod sizes that um the hair hair is curled around so it's something to consider now let's talk for a second about like the, where you are in your hair loss and if it's something that is practical for you to do right like to wear a partial hair system or if it's like you're too far gone or you know something like that right so you know this is the norwood scale right um where most of us are familiar with this and it kind of goes from one to seven so obviously if you're over here kind of like in the seven area like right here you're not going to be wearing a partial you shouldn't be wearing a partial it's it's obviously not going to do anything for you you know as you start getting over into here right it's a consideration but like if you have hair loss in your crown and at your temples doesn't really make a lot of sense to be wearing a partial and then wear another partial or or something like that right um if you start getting into like you know here one two and three these areas of the norwood scale then yeah that makes sense let's let's get you in a partial because you don't need a full hair system and you can get really really great results you know kind of going back to this gentleman right here uh you know if we take a look at his final result with the hair system uh you know he he looks great like you'd never know that he's wearing a partial hair system and that it's um his not natural hair right here for the first inch or two and then after that it's all his natural hair you know so there's a lot of factors that go into it but this can be a great opportunity for people that are you know beginning to lose hair or their hair loss has like stopped um i'm honestly jealous of those that have that issue but it's all good anyways guys i hope that this was informative for you if you want to see more content about partial stuff definitely check out stick on hair's channel and let me know if you want me to, to cover more partial hair systems like do some you know reviews of, of the ones that i do see online and i uh, would be happy to do that remember that lord hair is doing a 50 dollars off sale off of like every single one of their hair systems and yeah let's uh let's keep cranking guys stay beautiful stay sexy and i'll see you soon